my name's Helen, I'm part of the One Life team. And over the past year or so, we have been tracking with the book of Nehemiah. We felt God speaking to us through this story of this incredible leader from the Old Testament. And over this next little while, we just wanted to share a few thoughts with you um, on the different chapters of Nehemiah to encourage you, to um, inspire you. We're going to be sharing um, part of the team, but also we've invited some of our friends who work in different spheres of society to share what they feel like God is doing in those spaces and how they felt him speak to them as well through this book of Nehemiah. And so I'm going to kick us off today with chapter one. And the verse that's really stood out to me from this is verse four, and it says this. When I heard these things, I sat down and wept. For some days I mourned and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. And to give some context for this, Nehemiah, has just, he's in exile, and he's just asked how it's going in Jerusalem, what's going on there. And the report has not been good. And so this is his response. He sits down, he weeps, he mourns, and he fasts, and he prays. And I was really struck by this because at the moment it's Lent, this time where every year we choose to fast. And for me personally, I have chosen to fast social media and TV. I know, intense. Um, and what I've been thinking about is that when we fast, we create space. We create space to feel and be with God and let God meet with us in places that we might not have seen otherwise. And um, so often when I find something hard, if I find that bad news, my go-to can be to kind of clutch onto a security blanket of distraction and um, be that of Netflix or of social media, of scrolling through different things and distracting myself so I don't feel discomfort. But what I love about this is Nehemiah gets this bad news. He chooses to stop. He weeps. He acknowledges how he feels. He mourns. He fasts. He lets himself be present in that space and he prays. And what a challenge that is to us, where we can choose to be so distracted or we can choose to be present in this time where life can be pretty hard to choose to stop, to feel and let God into that space rather than distracting ourselves. And so I guess that's my challenge for us. How can we bring God into those spaces that are uncomfortable? How can we be really honest before him and not just move on to the next thing, but sit with him, fast, mourn and pray and invite him to be our ultimate comforter.